Hey, what's really good, people? Welcome back. As soon as back at me again, Donald Trump with bad rates and all that. Shout out to everybody. Welcome back. I have this 2011 Toyota RAV4. But if you have a, a car between 2006 and 2012, this is the third generation, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do the front and the rear brakes. Okay, real quick. Also, I have another video how to uh, replace the spark plugs too. Okay, look uh, look for that video in my channel, of course. Between 2006 and 2012, how to replace the spark plugs. Uh, more or less, I don't want to hold you up. You want to uh, support the channel, you know how to do it. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Anything you want to say about this video, nothing? this project, put in the comment box. Oh. I'm doing videos like replying to the feedback, okay, of uh, from uh, the subscribers, viewers, haters, lovers, whatever. You know what I'm saying community. So I'm not gonna make a video of only one comment. I'm waiting. You know what I'm saying I do it probably like a once a week, more or less. Yep, pretty much. Uh, what else? Yeah, shout outs to everybody. Uh, shout outs to uh, Japan, Brazil, Peru, Mexico, Canada, the States, uh, Italy, French, uh, Spain, Switzerland, Greenland, I'm not even rapping call, Germany, North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, Philippines, Cuba, Dominican Republic, uh, Puerto Rico, Argentina, Chile, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the building, right? So, come on, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Waka waka. How to do the front and real braid side. I don't know if I should do a different video though, like separate. Like one video for the front, one video for, for the back. But, uh, I don't know. All right, I think I'm gonna put both together. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Bro. Let's get it. Uh, this is how this baby looked like. I think I did this video before though, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay. I'm not sure if I did it before, but here we go. Alright. That's how it looks like. If you hear me kind of muscle, muffle, wait. It's because of the mask. Alright. You don't have to though, but you can still push the piston through here you know what I'm saying you're not gonna push it all the way but at least you're pushing most of it okay it's gonna be 14 if I'm not tripping if I'm not mistaking 14 on the cheer 14 on the cheer It's gonna be seventeen. Seventeen. You see it, right? Uh, all right. That's way better, right? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yep. And of course, I'm gonna give you the part number and all that. Almost there. This is the tense that uh, let you know when the brake pad is almost gone. Because you're gonna scratch against the... Against the rotor. Just gonna let you know, you know what I'm saying? It's time to replace pads.
this. I'm just going to brush it. Spray some cleaner. And brush it. Because I'm going to reuse those hardwoods. Good on both sides. They're not that bad though. They're still operational. And <laughs> take. Here we're gonna spray it too. Got the rotor. You have to clean it though. It doesn't come with grease. But if you want to still wipe it with a brake cleaner, be my guest. This is part number. Made by Ray Bestos. 9A0477R brake rotor for the front. Okay. It's the same for both sides, left and right. Now, I'm gonna grab some of this. Ray Bestos also. Silicone brake lubricant. Okay. the hole. Pause. So. Other one. I'm gonna tie it. 17 millimeter socket. I'm using the swivel one. Swivel. Half inch. For sliders, so it's a little bit far. Pause, remove it, clean it, wipe it. Let's see, okay. Put some. Saying lubricant, okay. Now we're Gucci. This one's hard too. Pulse. Put it out. Clean it.
случай. We're gonna put the brake pads now. I give you the part number two. Come with this, okay? This is the clip that is gonna tell you when it's time to uh, replace your pads. I'm gonna show you here how to do that. This is the same. What I'm doing here is the same here, okay? Put it like this. So, let me give you a better light. Put it like this. Make sure it's in there. For Gucci. Now, caliper. I have a short video of a. Uh, but, uh, how to push the piston with two wrenches, but I'm gonna use this. Okay. It's pretty easy though, just like this. Just gonna start pushing the piston. Just need to push it a little bit more though. There we go. Once you're done pushing it, turn, turn it counterclockwise to remove the tool. So you see extra lubricant on the outward side of the pet. Just like this. Put the bolts back, 14 millimeter. For those uh, Turkish pets, freaks, uh, if you're not one of them, just tie it by hand. Tie it and snug it. 14 millimeter, right? That's it for the front. Let's do the rear. This is the final product. Let's go to the rear. Oh, almost forgot. This is the uh, the brake pads I use for the front. Avios. This is part number, AD1210, ceramic. Okay. There you go. Front brake pads, okay. Now this is a rear. It's a drum rotor.
You want to do the same? 14. 14. 17. We're going to push the, uh, the piston the way I show you in the front. Same way. Just a little bit. If you can do it all the way good, then that's good. But definitely, you want to need this. It is useful, you know what I'm saying. Or you can use two, uh, two wrench keys. You can use two of this, like this. You can push it like this too. Talking about pushing the piston. Okay, let's let's do this, uh, baby. All right. Fourteen. Way better. Way better. This. Put that way. So it looks like the brake pad. We are not going to reuse that. If you don't have the hardware, be careful when you pull out the pad. You don't want to damage the hardware. Remove 
with a flat screwdriver so we're gonna reuse that rubber later <laughs> and spray this Doesn't come with grease though, but if you wanna clean it, be my guest. We'll put the rubber here in the new rotor. This we're gonna put some lubricant. Like so. Now everything goes in reverse, you know what I'm saying? Made by Ray Bestos 980483R. It's a part number for the rotor, real brake rotor. All right. D1212 real brake pads made by the same company Abios. Now we're doing is putting them like this. a little bit funny let's see let me come through let's see this
There you go. Up there. Ouch. I'm gonna push the piston the same way I did it in the front. Hope you can hear me there. That's how you push brake piston, caliper piston. Uh, if you want, you can put some lubricant here too. Here too. This piston is a little bit rusty for someone's press on WD-40. forget to check these the sliders they good that's over there tidy Tight and snug it. Should be good. Right, let me show you how it looks like. Okay. Good. Now all we gotta do is come over here, step on the brake pedal. It's gonna be it's gonna feel soft. Then it's gonna get hard. Pause. All right. That's good. Now it's hard. I put it in neutral so I can turn the uh, the front uh, tires. I mean, you know. Okay. Let's go to the engine bay. Now here, the engine bay, where everything is beautiful, kind of overflow. That's a uh, brake fluid reservoir. Supposed to be here. And it has too much. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some out. It's good, you know. Now we're just gonna spray some brake cleaner. You see it, right? It's supposed to be here. But it's here. That's fine. It's good, you. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. How to do the front and rear brakes. This 2011 Toyota Red 4. You know what to do with that. A subscribe button, right? Like, share, comment. Anything you want to say, put in the comment box. Let me know how you feel about this project. And I'm going to leave it right there. Remember, they call me Donald Trump with the pirates. And all that. Shout outs to everybody from Japan to uh, Taiwan. Giddy. 
China, Italy, French, Germany, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the building. Vale, Rachi, hola, chupo, clacking out, mouthy. Y, hi.